Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a very chill, laid back sort of video. So I wanted to do a get ready with me. I'm going to just real quick push my hair back before I... Oh, I don't have my earrings on. Hold on, I have to have earrings on. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to chill, film. I'm not feeling too good, like my stomach is kind of bothering me. I'm hoping that like I didn't eat something that didn't settle well with me or... But I had done... This weekend, I was doing a lot of stuff this weekend, and on Sunday, I did a makeup look that I really ended up liking. So I was like, I think I'm gonna film that one of these days. I've been really busy, mainly with the store, and I've had appointments and stuff like that. So I haven't had time to really film. Real quick, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Like my stomach, I don't know, my stomach is just bothering me today. And I don't know why, I ate a pretty normal breakfast, but I did this super easy eyeshadow look on the weekend. I really liked the way that it looked. It was so simple, like super easy, but it was just really pretty. Like it was with like peach and coral and colors like that. And I decided today, like maybe I should film because I haven't filmed in a couple days. So here I am. Um, I slept terribly last night. I have like a... Like, you know when you sleep wrong and you, like, pull the muscle in your neck? I pulled the muscle in my neck on Sunday night. And all day yesterday, all I was trying to do was just get my neck to be able to turn this way. And Tyler was, like, pressing on it and, like, trying to, like, massage the knot out as I would turn. It hurt so bad that I started, like, crying in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep. I was so sleepy. And I couldn't sleep because any way that I turned, my neck would start to hurt me. So last night was kind of rough. My stomach is really not feeling too hot. So if my energy level isn't high in this video, that's why. I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This is the shade Medium Golden and I'm just gonna use it to clean up my brows and prime my eyelids. I definitely have to start planning a giveaway because of course, so far I've done a 1K giveaway, a 5K giveaway, and of course I'm gonna do a 10K giveaway. So. I have to start planning that. I have to figure out what I want to do. I was um, wearing this pajama shirt. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, they sent this to me a while back and I was wearing it and then the doorbell rang. So I like threw on shorts really quick and I was like, I'm just going to make this an outfit. So I literally just threw some high-waisted shorts on and tucked the pajama shirt in. So I'm going to be wearing my pajamas today. Also, my freaking ring light. I need that to get itself together like ASAP. My ring light is the actual bowl blue so i need a new light because now i can't film if it's not daylight out which i like filming in daylight anyway i don't like filming at night but if there's something that i want to film and i just so happen to have the time at night i can't and i also use my ring light a lot on my clients i think i'm also going to do a um oh by the way i just set my eyes with the derma blend powder I think I'm going to do a Amazon favorites video. Those are like going around and I buy so much off of Amazon that I think I'm going to do one of the videos. So let me know down below if you guys want me to do that. I'm going to go in with the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. You guys know this is like one of my favorite palettes of life. I use it so much more than I ever thought that I would. So I'm going to go in with these two shades right here called Shooting Star and Magical. Right there. And I'm just going to blend them both together. And let me zoom you in a little bit. And we're just gonna work this into the crease. Oh, and I'm using a Morphe M573 brush. And I just like picking up both of those colors because they make the most perfect, like warm but not too orangey crease shade. Like it's the most perfect transition color with both of those two mixed with a fluffy brush. But this eyeshadow look, I did it so fast that I was like, wow, this is really easy, easy and I feel like I need to do it for my channel just because it's so easy and I know a lot of people have this palette and this literally was such a pretty like peachy, corally look that I did so fast. Now I'm picking up a Morphe M433, one of the freaking best brushes ever and I'm going to pick up the color here. I think. I think it might be called Potion. I really don't know. I don't know that the way that they have the names on there, I don't know. But it's like a really pretty orange, like a rusty orange color. And I love this brush because it's flat but fluffy at the same time. So you can get, like I can use this brush, this one brush for an entire look. 
Now I'm going to pick up, I think this shade is called Elfish. It's a dark brown. I'm picking it up on a Morphe M518. And this is a pretty dense brush. I'm not picking up a lot of it because I just want to keep it on the very outer corner. And I don't want this look to get too dark. I'm going to take this Bodyography Pro flat shader brush and I'm going to pick up that shade that I also have in my crease. And that's just going to be my lid color. So it's like a really pretty pop of peach right on the lid. One of my wings is going a little bit higher than the other, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put on mascara, put on lashes, and then I'll be right back so we can go ahead and move on to face. All right, guys, so the lashes are on, and these are actually some lashes that I bought on Amazon. They're literally just like a wispy. Like, they look like the Ardell wispies. I'll link them down below in case any of you guys want some good, affordable lashes. I'm also going to go in with the Maybelline 24-hour Super Stay Foundation in the shade 312. And I'm going to prime my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is my favorite. You guys know that. I, it's very rare that I use anything else. I, if it's not this or the Becca Backlighting Priming Filter, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my, what is this? The Sigma 3D HD Blender. And I have some of my foundation right on here. And I'm just going to pick some up and start dotting. I finally matched this foundation again. Um, I didn't match it for a while because when I went to Mexico, I got really tan. Story of my life. And I'm still loving this sponge so much. S falling in love with this foundation again. I used it for the first time like a couple days ago because it finally matched me again. And I was like, wow, this foundation is so good. For being a drugstore foundation, we're going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer once again. Um, this is a really good full coverage, but very hydrating concealer. Um, and it actually has an anti-aging serum in it, which is great. I want to get more of them to put in my kit because I used to use it when I worked at Sephora a lot on um, just drier skin, more mature skin. Just because it really gives you that nice coverage without being as dry as a lot of other concealers like Shape Tape. And it still has that nice coverage to it for sure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set our concealer. Wow, with the Derma Blend powder as well. I don't even know why, like it just got all over my hand. I'm just going to dab that in. I've really been liking this powder a lot. I didn't think I was gonna like it because it's white, but I like it a lot. And I like it because it really is translucent. Like you can't see a white cast. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Powder, which I actually think is back in stock now, which makes me very happy. If you've seen me, my videos, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I rave about this powder. It's the only powder that I use. It's the only powder that I've used on my entire face, probably like two years. Um, it makes the skin just look so smooth and airbrushed. It's amazing. Now that it's back, I, I want, I've been wanting to get it for my kit, but they never had it. So now that it's back, I'm definitely going to get it for my kit. And I'm going to use my Benefit Hula. Get in there. And a Morphe R2 brush. To bronze up the skin. I just started using this brush. I've had it for a little bit, but I just started using it um, to bronze. And I've been liking it. I like it because it takes up a lot of room so you don't have to work that hard. And it takes up a lot of area in no time. And for blush, I'm gonna use my Sigma Cor de Rosa blush from, I just said from Sigma. And I'm using a Morphe E4. And to highlight today, I'm gonna use my Becca Champagne Pop Throwback Oldie But A Goodie. And I'm, this brush is a Morphe M510. Now we're going to go back to the eyes really quickly. And we're just going to work on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to pick up. I'm going to make it a little bit more simple. I'm going to pick up only the shade, the orange one and the peachy one. I don't even know what they're called. We're just going to work that underneath. 
the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to use, is it Mooney? I think it's Mooney, this shade right here. And just pop it right in the inner corner. I'm going to spray my face. For lips, I'm sorry that I just cannot get away from these products. I'm gonna be using the NYX Need Me Lip Liner, which you guys know is my favorite. I literally cannot stop wearing it. All over the lips, and then on top, I'm going in with NYX London. So guys, this is it for the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I'm kind of off in this video. I'm like even wondering if I'm gonna post it because I really just don't feel right. Like I feel funky. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this and I hope you guys are able to recreate this really easily. It was such a simple look and I really like this color story. And You guys know I love matte eyeshadows. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.